Hi guys and welcome to Catch Club. We are here at Paris Manga with the legend, WWE Hall of Famer, Kevin Nash. Kevin, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Thank you very much. So yesterday, during the Q&A, you told us you follow what's going on in wrestling today, right? Yes. So we're going back to the 90s, we're going to do a little flashback. You left WWF for WCW with Scott Hall. You pretty much launched the revolution in wrestling, you know? Uh, today we may have some kind of similar situation with AEW and WWE. If you were the boss, you know, of a big company like AEW with big funds, who would be your Kevin Nash and Scott Hall in 2019? Two guys that you could hire from WWE. Are you gonna have anybody? Anybody. I'd want Cena. <laughs> I mean, Cena? I mean, if I could have my choices, I would want Cena and Lesnar. Cena and Lesnar, okay. You would... If I'm gonna start a company. Oh, okay, and with younger guys, maybe? Well, I mean, I'd take Rollins. Yeah, sure. Um, even though Orton's been there a while, I think Orton's still young. Um, I would have I would, I would have Rey Mysterio. I would want st like stars that have been there, have been, been around a while. But, of course. Uh, you know, if Roman was healthy, of course I'd have him. I would have him anyway. But um, no, but I mean, if I had to, to pick two guys, I'd take. Cena and Lesnar. Cena Lesnar. Oh, that's pretty solid. That would that would change the that would change the landscape. For sure, of, <laughs> for of, sure. Of professional wrestling. Of course. Uh, so you did the move from WWE to WCW. Do you have any advice for wrestlers who may think about that? Well, the one thing you know, the WWE is a multimedia corporation that's publicly traded in New York Stock Exchange. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, all Elite Wrestling is a limited liability corporation. That's just starting. That's just starting. So, you now I've heard that they've got a hundred million dollars, you know, startup money. Yes. But you know, the father's worth eight billion dollars. Exactly. That 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 that, that, that money is not the money that that's that, you know, in the company right now. The money is is is. is, is and if they start losing money, he's not going to put more in it. Well, I mean. I guess at, at eight billion, you need tax write-offs. Ah, yeah, so, you know, it may be a tax write-off. <laughs> but you know, I think it's interesting. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, you know, uh, got a chance uh, when I was with TNA to work with the Bucks. I think they're great guys. Sure. Um, Chris Jericho and I are friends. I don't know Omega very well, but I've, I've watched his work. I like his work. So um, you know, Cody, you know, is of course a, a you know. Worked with his father, worked with his brother, and I've never been in the ring with Cody, but been around him. So you know, they've got a really good nucleus of guys. It seems like they've got uh, the wrestling community, you know, very uh, Behind interested. Them. Yeah. yeah, it just depends if they can grab the you know, general population. Well, it's the it's the eight to twelve year olds. You know, it's like if you if you if you got the eighteen to twenty five year olds. If you get me and I'm 25 years old and I want to go, I can drive myself. If you get the, if you get three to eight year olds, they're gonna grab mom and dad. Of course, and they're gonna buy and some mom merch. And, mom and dad, yeah, <laughs> these kids gonna get the seventy dollar Cena hat, <laughs> Cena shirt, and wristband. Yeah, that's where the money you know, comes. They're from. gonna walk out of there and spend a thousand dollars. So, you know, the WWE is. Uh, I don't think that they're. Uh, I, I guarantee you, Vince isn't so rolling at night. Uh, losing any sleep. Over <laughs> of course not. Of so. course not. Currently, WWE is hiring a lot of legends, you know, uh, for roles as producers, backstage, and stuff like that. And AEW also is building its team. Have you been contacted by WWE or AEW? You know, the thing with wrestling is because it's every week that gives you a schedule. I did that for 30 years. Yeah, no, not interested anymore. No, I mean, I, I, if I have a schedule, it will be for however long the project is. I'm shooting a television show. A motion picture, Movies, show, 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 show. but I, I want downtime. I want my time. Of course. So you know? no backstage roles for you right now. No, I don't want to be sitting in something when I could be sitting watching Netflix. Just one last question. Sure. I, I just wanted to know since I'm a big fan, you know, you had a great career, world champion, WWE, WCW, co-founder of the NWO. Have you thought about maybe maybe writing a book one no. day? No, never. That's not your thing. No. No. Too many people. If you can't tell the whole story, you can't tell not any of the story. And so many people have went on and have families, and have children. Okay, I see. It's, uh, my friendships are more important than monetarily gains or 
tell them my, if, it, if somebody wants to tell my, I tell my story bits and pieces here and there in shoots. So, but as far as going into the nitty gritty, I alone don't want to write a check for half of my income to my wife. I don't know. I understand <laughs> so, that. I understand that. If somebody right. wants to give me fifty million dollars to write a book, I'll write a book. Until that day, <laughs> I'll keep it in here. Okay. Well, you know, thank you very much. If we could end the interview on the two suite, that would be I'll do it. awesome. Thank cool. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very thank much. you guys. See you soon on Catch Club. Thank you, Kevin.